What is the most annoying thing that happens to you each day that no matter how long you have endured it, it still bothers you? The headlights on vehicles are too bright for my, apparently, sensitive eyes. Bonus points if they're blue or super white and being sported on a truck with a lift kit. These are awful. Why blind are the drivers? I got some yellow night driving glasses to help with this. They help cut down on the glare. My experience was that they are trucks with off-road lights. They just think it's a cool option for their awesome new truck, and don't realize what it does to other drivers on the normal roadway at night. Having that sneeze that hangs around but won't come out. If you are like 18 35% of people looking at a bright light could force the sneeze out. I refuse to believe it's that low. Anybody I've ever asked if looking at the sun makes them sneeze has said yes. People not letting other people off the train before entering it themselves. People standing still on the walking side of the escalator. Yeah, I'm a commuter. Oh yeah, now it's a little less enraging because the schools are closed. But those ducking school kids. I'm not very physically impressive. 5 feet 7 inches. 120 pounds woman. But I've taken to just barging through those annoying hordes or tweens that try to get on the train before I can exit. It's so infuriating. Yes, the train one especially. Do they realize they can board faster once everyone gets off first? Just inconsiderate people. Slow. Oblivious walkers. Jackass. Dangerous drivers. Co-workers that waste your time or push their work on you. Inconsiderate people will always be there and always infuriate you. My housemates eating with their mouths open. Learn to chew with your mouths closed you ducking dogs. I promise that if I'm chosen for the jury I will vote you not guilty. 2 stroke 12 homie. Not guilty. Having a ton of options and none of them sound good. Like restaurants? Entertainment mostly. Isolation is killing me. Poverty. I don't get used to be in the bottom 10%. I only suffer more and more. Every day feels much worse than the one before. Sometimes you see poor people in the media who are extremely chill and good hearted etc. But from my experience you only grow more and more bitter and vengeful hateful and depressed. Why don't poor people just stop being poor? S. I understand where you are coming from though. I grew up poor and it sucked ass. Because they are just lazy s. Yes. Loud lawnmowers. I live in the south where grass is mowed year round. I can't understand how we can make silent cars. But lawnmowers have to be loud enough to wake up the whole block. It's a lawnmower, not a holly. Duck hollies too. But at least I don't hear them every day. Sort of related to this is leaf blowers. Especially when your neighbors decide to do it at 7am on your only day to sleep in. My kids yelling the same thing at me over and over, usually my name, as if I cannot hear them. Like, just give me 3 seconds to finish what I am doing and I will come help you for the love of God. My 4 year old, in one breath, mommy guess what, mommy guess what, mommy guess what, me, what, huh, well you don't have to be so rude, I would die for that kid, but what the duck. OML I feel so bad for my parents. I did that shit kinda often. I have these two particular teeth that are just far apart enough that they get food stuck in between them every single time I eat anything. I had that. The dentist was able to put in a filling and make the gap smaller. Well worth the cost of one filling. My wife leaves her teacup next to the sink with just a little bit of tea in every day. Just enough tea that if you put the cup directly in the washer it would make a mess. My wife will leave a tea bag and empty cups. Dried bags are a nightmare to get out of a mug because they tear and leave a mess of tea leaves. That there's always housework to be done. You can't get ahead. It's constant. I despise any form of constant maintenance tasks. Also my programmer brain can't accept the fact that there's no permanent solution to these problems. Why is dust a thing? Can we solve dust? There is indeed a solution to dust. It involves having the air pressure inside the house be higher than outside. Only slightly OFC. This way dust is forced out through the specialized ducts before it can settle. Your house would have to be designed accordingly before construction and I know of no implemented example. Just that it exists in theory. 
the noise from my husband's coffee machine. Things as loud and sudden as a barge horn when it gets turned on. Then the bean grinder whiz seems to have a volume amplifier installed. Then it makes this obnoxiously loud extra clunking drone to let you know halting the process was as difficult as beginning it. 10 minutes later, if he doesn't switch it off, it powers down with another great blaring noise. Just in case you were standing behind it and in danger of being run over. STFU. Coffee. The catharsis in this comment is palpable. I made my buddy a cup of coffee from my espresso machine and he starts busting my balls about the turbo diesel I installed in there. Jokes on him. His wife went out and bought the same model lol. Getting up in the middle of the night to pee. Sometimes more than once. I'm only 29 lol this has been going on since I can remember. It's a real treat when it doesn't happen. Hearing my roommate eat. Dude sounds like a T-Rex. Bro yes my roommate will make noises no matter what he's eating. Takes the smallest sip of water and he'll do the lip smack a good 3 or 4 times. Bro somehow makes slurping noises when he eats M and MS. Shit's crazy. I'm normally against murder but sometimes I feel like it is justified. Having that last little bit of pee drip into my underwear after I zip up. No matter how much you shake and dance, the last drop goes in your pants. However much you shake your peg, the last drop runneth down your leg. The fact that I posted the same ducking question two weeks ago and got no response. Timing is everything. People that hit reply all to work emails that there is clearly no reason. This is my boss, and then she needs everyone to respond with noted or some other confirmation and that has to go to everyone as well otherwise how will all six of us and the company be on the same page? My wife squeezes from the middle of the toothpaste tube. Maybe you should have your own tube. Seriously the best thing in my relationship. Sitting down to do something, or laying in bed, and then right as you're getting comfortable realizing you have to pee. This exact situation has caused me to now compulsively go pee before I do anything like settling onto the couch for a movie, or getting into bed for the night, even if I don't have to go, I do anyways. Oh same honestly, and even when I do that I still sometimes have to pee when I am finally comfy. When you are going about your day and suddenly out of nowhere you start feeling sad. As someone with severe depression, I get this, like I could be sitting having a perfectly nice day, watching movies, playing games, then, suddenly I go into the big sad for no ducking reason, and I'm ducking medicated for it. Going to the bathroom to poop, but no poop comes out. Or squatting forever and then having your legs buzzing afterwards. I'm feeling it rnlol. When the corner of my fitted sheet pops off the mattress, makes me insane and happens 4-5 times a night. Get sheet suspenders, they're one of the best purchases I've ever made. Slow walkers, when I'm walking slightly faster than someone in front of me, and then have to decide. Should I awkwardly pass them or just walk really slow behind them? What about slow walkers that don't know how to walk in a straight line and keep drifting in front of you? Most people are oblivious ducks. This is me. Aho I choose awkwardly always. That thing where you're listening to something in your headphones while cooking and the cord catches on a cabinet handle and they get ripped out of your ears and for some reason it feels like the most aggressive assault on the senses possible and you're instantly ready to square up with that cabinet. I accidentally put my foot through one of my cabinet doors because I was already pissed and what you described happened. It was a really cheap door so I didn't break anything in my foot and it was really easy to replace the door later. Sounds like a win-win tbh. I don't know why it evokes such pure fury, but it just does. Pop-ups asking me to accept cookies or privacy agreements, or disable my ad blocker. When I make a typo, go back and erase, then continue typing and make the error again. By the third time I have to erase the typo I'll be slamming the backspace in frustration. Feeling tired when I wake up. Or waking up in general. When the alarm clock wakes me up. I'm a cashier. Have been for 10 years. 
I somehow still manage to smile and chuckle when things don't scan and the customer tells me it should be free. I hear it multiple times a day. It's not funny. I did this like 2 or 3 weeks ago. I felt it happening. I heard my brain say say it as the girl tried to scan it again. I was like I'm not that guy. Don't you say it. And the lady just kept trying to scan it. She did it like 6 times and every time I was fighting it and I finally said it and we had the terrible laugh afterwards because it's not ducking funny and I was so disappointed in myself. I have curbed that impulse with a less obtrusive one. I say, oh, man, I am sorry, I picked up the one item that has the bad barcode. My cat refuses to pee in the litter box and will instead pee on the wall next to the litter box. It's so bad that I've taken him to the vet for it just for them to tell me he's healthy and that he's just an a-hole. Yes the litter boxes are cleaned regularly and I have literally tried everything to solve this. Get one of those enclosed litter boxes with a plastic top. Learned about these on reddit and it changed my life. The jerk would kick kitty litter all over outside the box every time he used it. Now he gets in the crap cube and that stuff stays contained. People who can't merge into traffic. Commute quirks can be irksome math. On top of people who don't use their signal and take forever to merge. Or people can't zip a merge to save their life. Or people who don't seem to pay attention then exiting onto the freeway. Making you slow down. There are two exits that seem to trick people or something. On one, at least a few times a week someone merges into the exit lane right at the last second. For the other if someone is going really slow in the far right lane there is a really good chance they are taking that exit. Honestly, a lot of people shouldn't even be driving. I've been hit by several cars in the past year just because of their lack of judgement. Not paying attention. Not checking mirrors. Merging into a highway at 15 duckine miles per hour. And just, I'm so tired of it. Unnecessarily loud people. And other forms of pissing others off emissions like chewing their food loudly or dragging their feet walking. My mill is a really great lady, but she talks loud as hell. Like not just her voice is abnormally loud, but she almost yells in normal conversation. And if anyone else is in the middle of saying something and she has something to say she will just blurt it out super loud. I have got to where I don't even finish what I was saying because no one will call her out. When I was a teenage lifeguard I had a boss who talked perfectly normally in conversation. But when she would call me on the phone she would be so loud I often had to pull the phone away from here because it hurt. This happened quite a bit and I always just assumed something about her voice must get naturally amplified by however the phone microphone or speaker work. But then one fateful day I came to the pool and walked in while she was on the phone with someone else and learned the truth. This lady simply screamed into the phone when she was talking. Like three times the level of her normal talking patterns. I almost burst out laughing. Mystery solved. Best comment of the day. Being interrupted for me, especially when I'm the person who started the topic of conversation. I can be a very charming and witty person in a conversation, but usually with just one person, who more often than not starts the conversation, and when the topic actually interests me, and when I'm constantly trying to talk over you, it's not me trying to dominate the conversation, it's me trying to get one word out, because I know it will somehow not come back up at all. It's even more egregious, when multiple people keep cutting in. Dude, this was an AB conversation. So please, when I'm having a conversation with you on something I'm very passionate about, please let me talk.